What does it take to earn a man's respect? That's the question at the center of the conflict between the two men vying for the Ring of Honor World Championship. On one side, Claudio Castagnoli, a man that makes professional wrestling look easy, a top athlete in near-peak physical condition at all times, well-respected by his peers, a successful workhorse everywhere he's ever been, a man who embodies everything you want out of the Ring of Honor world champion. On the other hand, nothing ever seems easy for Eddie Kingston. When he's not looked down on by his contemporaries, he's burning bridges in his wake. For every single step forward, two steps back. For every dream realized, a nightmare lurking around the corner. I quit AEW. These two are on a collision course that has been brewing for over a decade. It is a conflict defined by a simple thing. Respect. Me and Claudio Castagnoli were very close. He was my roommate. When I had to leave Pennsylvania and move back to New York for certain situations that I'm gonna keep to myself, Claudio wasn't there. So now I'm gonna take you to Wallingford, Connecticut. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. I wasn't embarrassed that you beat me because Claudio, you're, you're a great athlete. What embarrassed me was that you didn't have the respect and the honor to come up to me after the match and shake my hand and tell me thank you for the match. It was embarrassing that I let a man that has no respect and no honor beat me. That was, was embarrassing. Claudio, I didn't want to get personal, but it's going to get personal. I'm going to humble you tonight in that ring by beating you in a wrestling match. Holler at your boy. When the bell rings for Claudio and Eddie's match on this night, it becomes clear that Eddie will stick true to his promise to make his issue with Claudio personal. Where Claudio works a very scientific and controlled match, Eddie pushes Claudio into more heated exchanges. When Claudio comes down to Eddie's level and engages in these firefights, he inadvertently creates openings that Eddie's more than happy to exploit to get ahead in the match. But Claudio's freakish power and impeccable offensive technique proves a difficult challenge for Eddie. Still, Eddie continues to goad Claudio on, causing Claudio to lose himself in his anger and try to bomb Eddie Kingston out of existence. Eddie just blocks Claudio's Ricola bomb though and finds the tiniest opening to get an Oklahoma roll on Claudio for the three count and the victory. For three seconds, Eddie Kingston proves himself a better wrestler than Claudio Castagnoli, and it's not a defeat Claudio plans on taking lying down. You're a true talent and a tough guy, but you're just a street thug. And just because I respect your talent does not m mean I respect you. Tonight, I'm gonna prove that I can beat you whenever I want, because I'm a true athlete. In the rematch three months later, Claudio Castagnoli comes in far more focused and ready to prove a point. He takes Kingston to the mat early, seemingly wanting to prove that he refuses to be out-wrestled this time. As in the last match, Eddie uses a little chicanery and his trademark aggression to try and open up Claudio for attack, but Claudio seems far more immune to those tactics this time around. Noticeably though, when Eddie's in control, he holds his own on the mat, finding small openings to flummox and maneuver Claudio as he pleases. Even as Claudio's strength and determination prove a steep obstacle to overcome, Eddie shows that he's been paying attention. He dodges Claudio's attempt to hit his twisting springboard uppercut, and Eddie once again evades the Ricola, this time hitting a back fist and a big backdrop that sends Claudio to the floor. Instead of waiting out the count though, Eddie dives for Claudio but gets dodged. The fall messes up Eddie's knee, and Claudio sneaks back into the ring to win by countout. He gets his win back, but it's more because of Eddie making a mistake that Claudio takes advantage of. 
Claudio doesn't really out-wrestle Eddie, but he still gets a win in his ledger regardless. Nothing is settled. No matter what happens tonight, I know who you really are. No one else in this locker room may know who you really are, but I do. The 2009 trilogy comes to a close on Chikara's last event of the year. This time, Claudio and Eddie battle in an I respect you match, where the loser must say those three words publicly to the winner. The aggression comes out in full force as Claudio finally hits his Ricola bomb on Eddie Kingston, only for Eddie to follow up with his back fist in the opening moments of the match. It's clear that neither man can accept the indignity of declaring their respect for the other and will do anything in their power to escape that fate. There's no methodical grappling this time around for these two. Their rivalry has grown too personal, too heated for patience and caution. As the match goes on though, truths about both men begin to reveal themselves. Late in the match, when the action spills to the floor, Claudio throws a Chikara trainee into Eddie Kingston, causing just enough of a distraction for Claudio to nail Eddie with an Alpamari water slide onto the apron. Here it becomes clear that Claudio's perfectly content to accept a countout victory if that's what it takes to get one over on Eddie yet again. Meanwhile, we learn more about what Eddie's made of as well. Claudio once again nails the Ricola bomb, and this time Eddie Kingston kicks out at one. He endures a series of brutal power maneuvers from Claudio Castagnoli, surviving just long enough to show that Eddie's body might give out long before his spirit does. In the end though, a bicycle knee and a huge cyclone uppercut puts Eddie Kingston down for the three count. After the match, loss or not, Eddie Kingston makes it clear that he refuses to publicly acknowledge Claudio Castagnoli. The bottom line is, Claudio, you may have all these people fooled with your hay and all this other stuff. But that's it. Keep doing it. Your life was all of you a sheep. That same night, Eddie Kingston's warnings would become reality. Claudio Castagnoli would turn on the locker room to join forces with Ares to form the Bruderschaft des Kreuzes, or the BDK, a group hell-bent on taking control through their strength in numbers. The BDK would wreak havoc upon Chikara for over a year, in which time Claudio would do his best to avoid fighting Eddie at any cost. After ducking Eddie for over a year, Claudio finally relents to wrestle Eddie one-on-one -on -one in March of 2011. Not only that, but the match would take place on Eddie's home turf in New York City. Knowing that he's coming into enemy territory, Claudio does all he can to stack the deck in his favor. The BDK cling to the ringside area like parasites. Jacob Hammermeyer is the ring announcer, and the BDK's paid stooge, Derek Sabato, is the official referee. But Eddie doesn't mind playing tricks of his own, sneaking in behind Claudio to get an early advantage. Eddie revels in the opportunity to batter Claudio pillar to post, taking in the love of his hometown crowd as he does so. Eventually, the numbers become too much to overcome though, and Claudio takes control. There's a cruelty to Claudio here that's been exposed. There's no sportsmanship, only a desire to hurt and humiliate Eddie Kingston in front of his own hometown. With Sabato refereeing the match, Claudio basically has carte blanche to torment Eddie in any way he sees fit. Even when Eddie fights back, Sabato's slow count keeps victory right out of his grasp. Sick of the shenanigans, Eddie knocks out Sabato with a headbutt, and Bryce Remsburg takes on the refereeing duties in his stead. Once again, Eddie survives the Ricola bomb from Claudio Castagnoli. When Claudio attempts it again, Eddie hits the counter combination that nearly won him the day at Young Lions Cup 7. 
now fully able to capitalize its interference from a revived Sabato that snatches the victory away. With Sabato back in charge, Tim Donst is able to sneak a chain over to Claudio, who uses it to hit a wicked uppercut that knocks Eddie out for the three. To further rub salt in the wounds as well, Claudio whips a downed Eddie Kingston with his own belt. It's a brutal display that disturbs even Claudio's fellow BDK members. An opportunity for retribution would open for Eddie when both men would be entered into the 12 large round robin tournament to crown Chikara's first grand champion. Should the two men succeed in their respective blocks, they could eventually be destined to meet in the final. But that never happens. Later in 2011, Claudio Castagnoli would leave the independent scene for good, forfeiting his place in the tournament. With Claudio off to the WWE, it seemed that the story of Eddie Kingston versus Claudio Castagnoli had reached its final chapter. At Forbidden Door last year, Claudio Castagnoli made his debut in AEW, aligning himself with the Blackpool Combat Club. This pitted Claudio firmly against the Jericho Appreciation Society, filling out the BCC's team ahead of the eventual Blood and Guts match. Although they stood on the same side, it was clear from the get-go that Eddie Kingston did not trust Claudio Castagnoli. An uneasy truce led to Eddie and Claudio setting aside their differences to fight together in Blood and Guts. And although it seemed that everyone opposing the JAS could operate as a team, it was not without conflict. In the final moments of the match, just as Eddie Kingston had the stretch plum locked on Jericho, Claudio would snipe away the victory by tapping out Matt Menard with the sharpshooter. And now, their paths cross again in Ring of Honor. This time at the heart of it all, the Ring of Honor World Championship. You're a coward because you didn't do business the first time, so now I'm going to force you to do business this time. For Claudio Castagnoli, it's about reminding the world about a simple fact that he made up in his own mind years ago. He is better than Eddie Kingston. Edward, a man without honor will never be Ring of Honor champion. Eddie denied him respect, tarnished a near impeccable reputation, and now continues to hound him in what was meant to be a new era of honor for Claudio Castagnoli. I stayed, I worked every single day that you chose not to go to the gym, not to work out because you threw yourself a little pity party. I'm on a different level than you, Eddie. You cannot reach me. You cannot beat me. You never could. And you certainly cannot now. Meanwhile, for Eddie Kingston, it's an opportunity to silence the doubts from both within and without. Can he prove once and for all that he's a world championship caliber fighter. Loki, Xavier, Homicide. That lineage belongs to me, belongs to the underdog, belongs to the fighter. You're not a fighter. You're not an underdog. And you know that. Will all the friendships lost, the opportunities wasted, finally be proven worthwhile? Can Eddie beat respect into a man who refuses to look past where he came from and what he's done to see where he stands today. What does it really take to earn a man's respect? These questions and more await at ROH Supercard of Honor, Friday, March 31st, live on Pay-Per-View. <laughs>